Hello and welcome to another video review by New York Stilo and today we're going to talk about the Reef Keeper light system. We're going to talk about different controllers. I'm going to try to cover as much as I can and make this into a short video because um, for me to sit here and try to explain everything to you is going to be almost impossible because this controller has is you know it, it has so many features that um, we would sit here and talk about it all day but I'm just gonna give you a quick description of what it is give you an, a short illustration of how I have it set up and we're gonna talk a little bit about comparing it to the Reef Keeper Elite system and we're also gonna talk about its limitations its possibilities and how this little controller can save you money in the long run now uh, what's interesting about uh, this controller is that what led me to want to research aquarium controllers was the movie Finding Nemo. Now, the the funny thing is that in the movie Finding Nemo, if you see if you've seen it, there is a part in the movie where uh, Nemo tries to sneak into the filtration system to lock up the filtration system, so that uh, you know the the owner can take them out of the aquarium and they can try to escape. But the owner of the aquarium, what he does instead is that he comes back the next day with a uh, aquarium controller which can monitor absolutely everything. And me seeing that, I said there's got to be something like that, similar to that, uh, you know. And unfortunately, it's not as good as what you see in Finding Nemo, but it can definitely do a lot for you and it can save you some money. What I don't like about it is the fact that I'm gonna let's jump right into that what I don't like about aquarium controllers is that you're limited into the nutrients that you can check in your water what I'm trying to tell you here is that I wanted a controller that can monitor um, everything from pH to salinity to ORP to all of these things and you can definitely do that with the reef keeper light system or with the elite or the, with the apex uh, uh, controller but you cannot continuously use a probe to monitor your calcium alkalinity levels and stuff like that and that was a little bit of a letdown but it is impossible for you to be able to use a probe and continuously monitor calcium because a calcium probe needs to be um, calibrated every time you use it certainly a calcium uh, probe is going to be the most accurate way for you to test your system it's gonna be way better than um, using test kits and stuff like that but uh, you know it does have its limitations in that a aquarium controller can only really monitor salinity uh, conductivity ORP pH these you can use probes which continuously monitor your system and as you can see here my pH is 8.14 and that's great because it usually fluctuates between 8.14 to 8.3 uh, on a 24-hour basis and that's how I like to keep it now uh, the differences between the Reef Keeper light system and that of the Reef Keeper Elite which is an upgrade is is the only difference is, is that it can use more modules and you're probably asking yourself what is a module and a module is very simply located here and we're going to get into that i actually took this module removed it from the back of the aquarium and put it on top of the chiller so that I, it can be easier for me to show it to you guys and i'm going to show you guys exactly how it works so the reef keeper light system can only control four modules each module has many different um aspects and uh you know abilities you know and to be honest with you if you have only one system in your home that's all you need is a reef keeper light system you know you don't really need 240 modules unless you actually have a uh, a retail store where you've got many systems that need to be continuously monitored you know in this particular uh, um, controller here I've only got three modules you can see one two three here and number four is actually unlit because I'm not running a fourth module I can certainly hook up another module it can be the net module it can be you know the great thing about this controller is that you can get a net module you can also do this with the apex controller where you will get emails every time you can tell your reef keeper light 
that if the pH drops more than two than point two on any given time, you'll receive an email on your phone or you'll receive a text. You know, you you'll receive an email directly, and it'll tell you your pH has dropped below 8.0, for example. Now, comparing the Reefkeeper Lite to, or the Reefkeeper Elite to that of the Apex controller, the Apex controller is a little bit better. And that's only because the Apex controller allows you to shut off equipment from away from your home. In your computer, you can tell you can send uh, a message to your apex controller and tell it to shut off your calcium reactor for example if you have high calcium so the um, possibilities are limitless when it comes to having one of these controllers but for me i went ahead and got myself the reef keeper life system which also has a net module which i haven't installed but it'll simply send you emails when you see when you see drastic changes in your system and you'll be able to come back and control it and you know and uh, you know look at your system so basically what this is going to do is going to monitor your system and that is uh, a great feature to have so that uh, you know you don't have to uh, continuously test your system and stuff like that especially for pH and you know it'll continuously give you that reading now when it comes to modules and we're, we're gonna we're gonna move on to the modules here each module can give you several different types of uh, controls within the system now I, of course I've taken this module here and I'm gonna show you what it does and I'm gonna show you some tricks too to it and we're gonna twist the camera here and this module is basically like your ordinary surge protector only it does it goes further than that it has its reset and off button here and you see the little lights here where it says uh, channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 each each one of these here is a channel and what's interesting about this is that um, let me show you guys a quick trick here what you're looking at here next to it is a um, it, it's a converter that takes one electrical socket and turns it into three and you can actually do that so that you don't need to actually go out there and buy another PC4 module so that you can hook up more equipment you can you know you can you can work your way around it and uh, it'll definitely work out for you so each one of these electrical sockets which it brings four in total will allow you to hook up this equipment and control it in whichever way that you want to you can hook up um, your pumps and have them shut off and turn on individually or you can hook up your lighting system or you can hook up this one in particular has my um, skimmer it has my skimmer it has my return pumps and it has my uh, reactors hooked up to it there's one reactor that was unhooked up, and also the chiller was unhooked is hooked up to this um, PC4, but it was um, unhooked up, so I can take it out and show it to you guys. And so um, the other module is located behind the aquarium. So the other module is basically what's controlling all of my lighting system. So the uh, possibilities are limitless when it comes to you having um, these modules, these PC4 modules. The unit that I have uh, is roughly about 269, 279, and it comes with these three modules. And that's all you really need, guys. If you really want to go high tech, you can go ahead and purchase the net module and be able to receive emails and stuff like that. Now, so my system brings these three mo the three modules in total so it brings two pc4s allowing you to connect up to eight electrical components uh, also at the end here of the module itself you're going to see two three wires the wire all the way to the right is basically just the electrical power cord and the two wires located to the left one is going to allow you to connect the other module and the other um, um, socket that you see all the way to the right, which sort of looks like a 56K modem uh, type of connector, will allow you to connect 
another uh, uh, probe. It'll it, you can actually. And this is how I have it hooked up. I've got the temperature probe coming out of uh, the wire that you see all the way to the left, and the temperature probe. We're gonna move on here. The temperature comes all the way from behind the aquarium and you can see the temperature probe here and the temperature probe actually goes into the overflow box and it's pointing down and it's completely submerged underwater and you will get accurate readings when it comes to uh, the temperature of the water. Now on this side of the overflow box I've got the pH monitor, the probe, constantly reading the pH it's actually located in the same way, snuck in under this uh, piece here and uh, pointing down. And what controls the pH monitor is the third, um, the third uh, module that you see here. Now this is one of the modules that come with the ReefKeeper Lite uh, Level 3 system. And this is actually called a System Lab 1. Everything is just out of its place because I pulled out the other one and it sort of uh, slipped this one out. But the System Lab 1 is going to allow you to control the pH, the temperature, and is going to have, um, so basically you can control up to two, you can have two probe, temperature probes in your Reef Keeper light system to be able to monitor, say, the temperature in your main aquarium as well as the temperature in your sump, which uh, rather fluctuate. So next to the temperature is two switches, switch A and B, which will allow you to hook up an auto top off system. Now, let me tell you this, guys. I bought my Reef Keeper light system after I bought my auto top off system, so I don't necessarily use it um, you know, with, uh, when it comes to the top off system, but you, it, like I said, it, this system is going to save you money because this auto top off system that you see here is anywhere between 89 bucks, 80 bucks to hundred bucks. And you'll be able to do that manually with your reef keeper light system. And so all the way to the end here is a ORP, which will, um, it will continuously be able to read out the uh, redox in your system and redox we're going to talk about that in a later uh, uh, video uh, i have to do a video on that as well so those are the three different modules that come in the reef keeper light uh, level three system or also known as the plus system and it's very easy and simple to use guys highly recommend you guys to get it it'll actually give you a constant reading of your ph um, you can buy the salinity probe which or the conductivity probe which will continuously read out your salinity never needing to buy a hydrometer or a refractometer and it'll also allow you to quickly scroll through the different components here let me just do this quickly so just to show you guys that um, it says temperature error. Now, the reason why it says temperature error here is for the simple fact that um, there are two temperature probes that can be hooked up. And this one does not contain a probe. So it's always going to tell you temperature error. But if we scroll down, it's going to give you switch B. It's going to give you switch A, which allows you to control um, the top off system. It's going to tell you how many amps you're running on each and every one of your modules. So you're running 3.6 amps. So if you have an amp that's 15 amps, so that's, that's a great feature. It's going to tell you channel 4, channel 1. Each one of these here is a different channel. So this is channel 1, channel 2, channel 3. And so it's going to give you and uh, allow you to control the channels, channel 1. And this is the eye temperature, which is hooked up to this probe here. So the eye temperature is reading 79.8, which I have to turn on my chiller. And the only reason why I disconnected it was, again, because I needed to move this here. And the cord was not reaching. And so um, the eye temperature here, um, it says none because there's nothing hooked up to this particular one. And the amps on the other module are 1.1 in total. So channel 4, channel 3, channel 2, channel 1, and the ORP is 283. So awesome piece of equipment to own. 
very easy to use, very simple. It, this is just a general introduction uh, into uh, this aquarium controller. Now, um, briefly, the differences between this one and say the Apex controller is that the Apex controller has like one or two different features that are a lot better. It'll actually allow you to shut off and turn on equipment from your computer giving a signal to the Apex controller and that is a major plus. So if you guys want to get the Apex controller, highly recommend it as well. I I'm not too much of a freak and I know my system well to know that uh, it won't commit these errors, you know what I mean? But it, you never know what happens. An auto top off switch can get stuck and uh, you know your pH can drop and if it drops below 8.0 you can tell it to the net system for this reef keeper light system is going to do the same for you the only thing is that the uh, um, apex controller can actually allow you to shut off any individual equipment in your system away from your home so that's a, a, a quick plus also the apex system will allow you to name each and every one of the different um, equipment that you have hooked up here. This one will not allow you to do it, but for the price of 269, allowing you to control almost every aspect of your aquarium, as well as saving you money in the fact that you won't need a top off system and you won't need any other kind of surge protector or anything like that, highly recommend you guys to get this system. And so I hope that this video has been informational for you guys. Many videos to come up next is um, glass tanks versus acrylic um, you know I'm gonna give you guys a quick review on that many more video reviews to come different products as well as um, different videos on uh, individual coral care so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video guys hope it's been informational for you once again uh, rate subscribe comment my videos thank you for watching New York Stilo signing out peace